Welcome, welcome back, everyone. We are going to warm up. So, today's warm up, working into our hamstrings. So we typically do a hinge, inchworm, forward. Today we're gonna do a little bit different. I just wanna make sure you can see me okay. There. Good, so this time we're gonna do what's called a good morning. Hands behind your head. You're gonna hinge forward, bent knees, get a nice stretch. Come up, squeeze those glutes. Hinge forward slowly. So what I want you to concentrate on is getting that nice stretch in the back of the legs. Hinge, stretch, all the way up, squeeze. So very similar to a deadlift position, all the way up. Nice, hinge, stretch, good. Amazing, now we're gonna add on. So reach down, reach down, touch those toes. Walk out to a plank, step up with one foot, landing here. Amazing, rock back and forth on that toe. Amazing, step back, walk back, touch those toes, get a nice stretch. Forward, other side, land here, rock back and forth. Amazing, step back, walk back, touch those toes, coming forward. Step, rock, amazing. Step back, walk back, touch those toes. Forward, other side. Amazing, step back, walk back, slowly round it up. So today we're doing a barefoot workout as you can see. So you don't need shoes on today. Good, we're gonna go into a sumo squat. So nice wide stance, you'll see your heels are wider than shoulder width, right? Knees coming out, 45 degree angle, letting those knees track over those toes. Core nice and tight, breathe in and out on the way up. Squeeze up top, amazing. So barefoot workouts are really great to start working on balance, proprioception in your feet. Really great to be able to start getting more awareness in the posterior chain as we work through that. Squeeze those glutes up top, three more here, two, one, amazing. Let's do it again, hands by your ears, right? So bend those knees, feet shoulders apart, hinging and nice stretch in the back of those legs, all the way up, squeeze. And just notice, is one side getting more stretched than the other? So try to make it even, right? Bringing that mind-body connection to the mix, squeeze, hinge, nice stretch in the back of those legs, slow it down. Like I want you to feel that nice tension build in the hamstrings. Feeling those glutes, getting that stretch. Coming up, squeeze those glutes with intention. Three more here. Breathe, squeeze, two, amazing, one. Amazing, let's do it. Touch those toes, nice stretch. Bend as far forward as you can, walk out to a plank. Step up with one foot, rock back and forth. This time I want you to open up that chest if you can. Good. Float that hand down, step back, walk back, touch those toes. Use this to release those hamstrings. <coughs> Other side, open it up. Good, float that hand down, step back, walk back, touch those toes. Good. Give me one more side. Other side, open it up. Rock, rock, breathe. Amazing, float that head down, step back, walk back, hang out here, pause, walk forward, other side, last one. Open it up. Good, float it down, step back, walk back. Good, slowly round it up. Let's go into one more sumo squat, wide, wide stance, good? This time I want you to float down, pause the bottom, core tight, pause, Breathe, come up, squeeze. Deep breath in, brace. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze. Good. Find your breath. Good, you've got it. Three more. Amazing, all the way up, squeeze. Two. Last one, one. Amazing, I'm gonna roll out my mat so that I can get some cushioning under my feet. We're gonna get into our posterior chain. Grabbing two weights, good. Two dumbbells that feels good to you. We're going to go right into 
Alternating curtsy lunges. Just to get into the posterior chain, it doesn't have to be so heavy to start. We're just gonna get into alternating curtsy lunge. Good? So hands by your side. You're gonna curtsy back, step together. Other side, curtsy back. So what you wanna do, it doesn't have to be a big step back. Knees are quite tight. You try to bend those knees, right? As close to the ground as possible. You'll get that inner thigh squeeze. You're gonna get that nice external glute. You'll feel it as you come down. Good, proud chest here. Good, as you go through. Option next, to add some weight to get a little deeper. Yes, you got it. Get as deep as you can for five. Proud chest, five, core tight. Four, yes, four. Nice, three. Good, proud chest, three. Try to keep that body pretty upright, two. One and one, one, one. Amazing, put it down, planking for me. Planking for me. <coughs> In our plank position, pelvic tilt, good? Feet shoulder width apart, we're gonna go opposite leg, opposite arm, reach in, good? So this is our nice erector spine, our nice big back muscles, creating stability and strength for your posture. Good, so you know, one side pause, and then the other. I know it takes balance. So I go leg first, core tight, reach. Give me three more side, three more side on your own. Keep going. Good, finish your three more side. Amazing. When you're done, you're three aside. Up you get, take a quick, quick sip. Give me one second. I'm just trying to do something for my daughter. Sloan, you have to download a picture. I don't have, I don't have time to find a picture. Do you need to copy a picture from the internet? Good, option to pick up some heavier weights, please. Option to pick up some heavier weights. Good, we're gonna do curtsies. Find your balance, find your breath, good. Stand tall, shoulder, shoulder blades back and together, core tight, good. I want you to get as deep as you can. So everyone thinks that, oh, curtsy lunge, like what are we doing ballet? We're not doing ballet, good. This actually is quite a muscle building exercise if you get deep. So try to keep that up, a body upright, good. Get deep, knees come close to the ground. And if you're getting it close, you're gonna feel it right in that glute, find your breath. We've got 10 aside. Yes, we're going for 15 aside. Oh my goodness. Nine. Find your breath. Good. Proud chest. Eight. Good. You got it. Seven. Good. Six. Yes, for five. Five. Good, hold on. Yes, nice work. Three, three, two, two, one and one. One and one. Amazing, put it down. Put it down. Planking, core nice and tight. If this plank option is too, Challenging. You can always bird dog this, right? Holding, squeezing. Holding, squeezing. Good? If you can do your plank, join me. Ready? One leg up first. Find your balance. Opposite arm. Come back to center. You always want to pause up top. I know it's going to challenge your balance. I know that. It challenges mine. Right? But I want you to take your time. I know it's going to suck. But this is what it's about. Breathe through it. Bring your focus, right? Bring your practice, because this is what makes you stronger. Two more side, or two. Two, one and one. One, and one. Amazing. Good, stand up. Grabbing some heavier weights if you can.
Good, grab some heavier weights. We're going to go into a sumo squat, please. Sumo squat. So stand it up for me, please. Give me one second, I show you guys here. So your device does not support virtual graphs and backgrounds. Doesn't work, so good. Find heavy if you can. Wide, wide stance. Sumo squat. So where we started before, good. Turn those toes out, proud chest. Good, so we're gonna go down for three, pause, up for one, squeeze. Good, what I wanna see is your body upright. Squeeze, press those hips forward. Good, all the way down. See how upright I am? Squeeze. When you squeeze, I don't want you leaning back here. I want you squeezing up top. And I'm actually going to grab something a little heavier. Three, two, one, all the way up for one. Squeeze. Three, two, one, all the way up for one. Good. Three, two, one, all the way up for one. Proud chest. Yes, squeeze. Nice, Paulina. Nice calf. Amazing. Option to grab heavier weights next round for five. Squeeze. Four. Three. Yes. Two. Amazing. Last one. One. Amazing. Put it down. Single leg deadlift. Deadlift. Good? So I want you to, if you can, you're going to try to balance. You can use a chair, a wall, something if you need the assistance. But ideally, I want you to keep those hips square, hinge, get a nice stretch, pressing that back heel back. I want you to focus. Good, no weights. Good, we're patterning here. All the way up and down for 10. Squeeze up top. Nine, I want you to feel that stretch. Always a slight bend in that knee. Keeping those hips squares. Eight, square. Seven, reach that heel back. Six, you should feel this big stretch, yes? Five more, take your time. Kathy, I like that. So Kathy has put a weight in front of her to just help her so she doesn't have to go all the way to the floor. That's perfect, right? Because the goal is just to get a stretch. Wherever that is for you, doesn't mean you have to touch the ground, right? I know some of us are flexible enough, good, but the intention is really to just get that stretch. Good, other side. Oh, shake it out. Core tight. Square hips. Right? Right? If you're used to like dancing it up and opening up that hip, I don't want you to do that. I want you to close that hip. Get a nice stretch. This gets into that hamstring, into that glute, patterning that body well. Keep going for seven. Squeeze six. Yes, five more. Hold on. Four. You got it. Three, take your time. Two, one, last one. A little Japanese music vibes. Amazing, stand it up. Good, grab those weights. Do you need to go heavier? Check in. Do you need to go a little heavier? Good, even if you grab two weights, interlace, there you go, Paulina. Good. Wide stance. Good. Sumo squat. Down for a count of three. Up for one. Time under tension, right? It makes it feel a little heavier, but we're going to work with it. Good. Resist it for three, two, one. Up for one. Squeeze. Every single one, make it count. Meaning squeeze up top. Good. For three, two, one. All the way up. Nice. Three. Core tight. Upper body. Nice and tight. Breathing. Amazing. For 10, two, one, all the way up, squeeze, four, two, one, you got it, keep going, eight, two, one, I know, keep that tempo, don't speed it up, resist it on the way down, work through that challenge, five, two, one, all the way up, squeeze, four, two, one, all the way up, squeeze, three, Two, one, all the way up, squeeze. Two, two, one. Let's go, last one. Three, two, one, all the way up, squeeze. Oh my God. Very good. 
Single leg deadlift. Can you straighten that back leg a little bit more as you hinge forward? Let's try it, ready? I am start with my same leg. Slight bend in that standing leg. Hinge, kick that heel back. I want you to feel that nice deep stretch. Keep those hips square. As soon as you think that they're square, close that left hip or right hip a little more. Good? I want you to feel it in that hamstring. Take your time. Oh my goodness. And you can see if you're doing barefoot with me, how this is really challenging your feet, right? Finding the balance, all those little muscles in your ankle are firing to stabilize you, which is great. That's what we want. Squeeze, two more. We got it, last one. Squeeze, one. Amazing, other side. Other side. Slight bend in that knee. Hinge, let's go for 10. We're only doing 10. So take your time, make every single one count. Nine, reach, squeeze. Oh my goodness, don't fall like I am. Eight. Keep those hips square. Seven. Work for it on the way up. You wanna pause, come up, squeeze. Six. I know, I feel it too. For five. And I know from doing this for so long where I can cheat. So I want to continuously remind you guys where not to cut corners, right? For three, two, reach that heel back, one, one. Amazing. We're gonna go and do one more sumo squat. And so fitness is cumulative, right? Even if you do a short workout today, it adds on to the next one. But also, every single rep, make it count. Right? Sometimes we get in our head, we think about that email, we think about like our to-do list. Stay present, right? Because every single rep, if you stay present, connected to your mind-body, that's where you win. It all layers. Ready? Again, last one. Time under tension. Deep breath in. Down control. Brace through that core. Knees come wide. Squeeze. Three, two, one. One, deep breath in, brace through the core, hold it, breathe out. Deep breath in, brace through the core. When I say brace through the core, so sometimes if you don't have that core strength, you'll see that you might like collapse down part way, right? So that's when your core kind of gives out. I want you to really brace. So take a deep breath in, brace, almost like, you know what? I know it's a weird analogy, but you know when you're a kid and someone come up and punch you in the kid stomach, or if you're kids or somebody, right? It's the brace, it's that same kind of feeling that you're bracing, keeping that fortress, which is your core and your back strong. We've got seven more. Deep breath in, three, two, one, all the way up. Six. Amazing, up for five. Four. Three. Two. Yes, last one. Amazing. Put it down. Good. We're not going into those signal left deadlifts. I want you to come onto your back. Good. Reaching your fingertips to your heels, feet shoulder width apart. We're just going to get into our glutes slightly so that we can get into some deadlifts. So hands by your side. Actually bend those elbows, squeeze those elbows into the ground. Come up, hold. Press those toes into the ground for three, two, one. Come down, tap your butt down. Make sure your pelvic tilting here. You don't want to dump into the lower back, right? Good, down controlled. Good, all the way up. Squeeze those elbows to the ground. Pelvic tilt, squeeze those glutes. Three, two, one, down controlled. I want you to get a bit of a shake here, that you're contracting so hard, that you're pressing so hard, that you're feeling your entire posterior chain light up. Down, right back up, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, three more here, up, four, three, squeeze higher, two, one, down, all the way up, two more here, four, squeeze, three, two, one, down, all the way up, last one, for four, squeeze, three, two, one, good, relax, knees to chest, give yourself a quick squeeze, up you get, so, deadlifts. Similar to the motion we were just doing, good? Feet shoulder width apart, 
Good, you're gonna be hinging back. Wait, I want them to be all the way on top of your toes the entire time. That's where I want your weight to be. So as much as you need to bend is what I want you to do. Good, so we're gonna get that same stretch that we were doing like we were doing the single leg, but with some weights this time. Good, so find those weights. Go heavier if you need. I'm gonna go 35. Not so heavy, but totally doable. Good? Flat back the entire time. So squeeze your legs back in together. You know when we're doing the plank with the reach, that nice big muscle, proud chest, peacock, peacock that chest, keep that neutral back. Good? We're doing 15. Let's go. Hinge, squeeze, down, controlled, up, squeeze. Nice stretch. Good? Notice how the weight is directly perpendicular to the ground in between my toes. Right? That's where you want the weight. So the rest of your body has to move in accordance. For 10, squeeze. Nine. Keep going. I'm gonna face you. Eight. Squeeze. Good. Seven. Equal pressure in those feet. Six. Time under tension. Slow it down. For five. Good. If you can't touch the ground, that's okay. Four. I want it to control, be controlled. Three, nice stretch in the back of those legs. Two, one, hinge. Amazing, put it down. On our backs, on our backs. We're gonna do that same thing, good? I want you to really drive those elbows in so you're lighting up those lats, those rhomboids. Good, bend those knees. So squeeze, almost like you're trying to levitate yourself from your elbows. Good, heels, feet, shoulders apart. Pelvic tilt, keeping those heels down, squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Come down, tap, right back up. Five, four, three, you shouldn't feel this in your lower back. Yes, two, good, down, tap, down, back up. Four, three, two, one. Tap down, back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Tap down, back up. Five, four, three, two, tap down, back up. Five more here, squeeze. I want you to do it like you mean it. Tap down, back up, right? Like meaning that at the end of the five seconds, you couldn't have held it any longer. For five, lead, four, lean into it. Three, two, tap down, back up. Squeeze, five, four, glutes, elbows. Good, last one, five, four, three, two. Good, tap down and relax, knees to chest. So I remember years ago, I was at a fitness convention in New York City, I don't know, maybe six years ago, and there was a Tai Chi instructor that came in. And you had a room of these fitness professionals that do boot camp classes, CrossFit, all this stuff all day long, that did Tai Chi for an hour. And it was the most boring thing, right? Like literally holding poses. But the Tai Chi instructor kept cueing us to get into that muscle, mind-body connection, contracting, contracting. Literally, you're holding your hand in the air like this, right? These weird, kind of cool, whatever ninja poses, okay? The next day, when I tell you guys I was so sore, I was so sore. So don't underestimate doing these simple glute bridges, squeezing, getting into your mind-body connection. It actually helps pattern you so that when you do lift heavier, the contraction is even more intense. We're gonna do one more round of these deadlifts, okay? Grab those weights. Grab heavier if you can, if you want, if you have. Good, same thing. We're gonna go down for two, nice and controlled, resisting it, getting into those hamstrings, those glutes, coming up, squeezing, good? Let's go, all the way up for one. Nice and controlled, all the way up. Slow it down if you need to, right? Flat back, core tight. But I want you to really feel that stretch in those hamstrings. Up, control, squeeze. Good, don't come up too fast. I want you to almost slow down coming up so you feel the shortening of that hamstring. Same kind of thing, right? That's like that Bruce Lee mentality I always tell you guys about for 10, squeeze. Controlled, nine, eight, yes, seven, six, Yes, for five, proud chest. Four, you should not feel this in the lower back. Three, just a reminder. 
two, one. Amazing. Put it down on your back. So we're gonna do the same thing. Couple options here, sorry, same thing but different. Feet together. You're gonna do the same thing with those arms, so elbows into the ground, but this time we're gonna lift one leg, good? So if it is too much to keep your elbows here, you can put your hands on the ground, whatever works for you, good? Driving through the heel, I don't wanna see everyone up on their toe, keep your heel down. We're gonna do 10 glute bridges here, ready? For 10, nine, as high as you can, eight, press, seven, six, squeeze those elbows into the ground for five, four, three, two, one. Good, switch sides, do it again. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, all the way up for five, four, press higher, three, don't dump into the back, two, one, other side. Again, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, hold on, six, lift higher. You almost wanna create a straight line from your shoulders and knees. Four, all the way up, come on, three, slow it down, Stephen, two, all the way up, one. Good, again, for 10, other side, I mean, nine, eight, can you pause up top, Stephen? Seven, six, yes, better, five, get that contraction. Four, three, two, one. I know, up you get it. So I want you to keep the same weight you just did with your deadlifts. Unless you were doing 100 pounds, you may need to toggle back. We're going to do our split stance deadlifts. So different from our single leg with the leg up, different from our double deadlifts, good. We are going to do single leg like this, good. So feet shoulder width apart. Remember our toe back for moral support. We're going to get into that hamstring. It's going to feel different than your single leg. It's going to feel different, obviously, than your double leg. But I want you to focus on keeping those shoulders calibrated to square, hips calibrated to square. So when you hinge, even though you have weight, on just one leg. I want you to focus on driving that one hip through. Good, we're gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Make sure you don't lean back into it. Good, let's go. So start in neutral, step back. Back toe is really for moral support, a little bit of balance. Good, hinge, slow it down. Yes, all the way up, squeeze. Good, hinge, flat back, all the way up, squeeze. Notice my positioning has not changed, right? Neutral spine, squeeze. All the weight is on that front leg. Really get into that front leg, right? Take your time, squeeze, find it. Don't lean back on that back foot. The tendency is because it's there that you want to use it more than lose it, but I want you to let go of it. Just there for support. All that weight in the front. It's going to feel heavier, obviously. Two, because you are putting more weight there, one. Oh my God, good. We're gonna go to the other side, don't put it down. Switch legs, ready? Three, two, one, hinge. Good enough, drive. Hinge. Good, drive, squeeze. Take your time. Kathy, can you press those hips back a little bit more? Yes, better. Squeeze. For five, hold on, four, yes, three, amazing, two, you got it, one, amazing, very good, on your back, on your back, just notice if this is starting to bother your back, if there's too much tension, toggle it back, good, weight wise or whatever it is, good, one leg down, elbows into the ground. Ready? I know we're focusing so much on the lower legs today. I hope you're okay with that. Let's go. For 10, nine, I want you to pause up top. Eight, good. Seven, six, breathe into it. For five, four, keep that heel down. Three, two, one. I know, I'm right here with you. Other side, ready? For 10. Nine, 
eight, seven, good, six, for five, hold on, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do 10 and 10, ready? Let's go for 10, nine, eight, take your time, seven, pelvic tilt, six, five, four, three, two, one, other side. Ah, let's go, 10, nine, three, eight, seven, six, five, hold on, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, very good. Very, very good. We're gonna do one more deadlift set. Take a quick, quick step and you do a step before we continue. One of the beautiful things about single leg work are a couple things. So one, if you're doing at-home workouts and you don't have heavy, heavy weights, it's a great way to increase the intensity and resistance because now you're putting all that weight that you have on the one side. The second piece is, from a proprioception balance standpoint, it's really good. And it allows you to work on those strengths and those weaknesses. Meaning, we all have a dominant side, right? One side is stronger than the other. This really allows you to see where maybe the weakness is and really allow that, that side to develop to balance you out, right? So hopefully, we won't have imbalances in our bodies. So I always think it's good. Let's go one more round, good? Only 10. So grab weight that's appropriate, keeping your form consistent with what it means, right? So remember, weight over those toes, even in this position, meaning your hips are coming back, right? This is just for moral support, good? That's what I mean, Kathy, right? Like, you don't wanna bring those weights here. You wanna bring those weights, yeah, better, there, right? So you're pushing those hips back, getting into the hamstring, the glutes, yeah, that's better. Good, let's do it, ready? Find it. Peter, I'm trusting your form is fine, even though I can't see you. <laughs> Get a nice stretch, good, squeeze up top. Nice and controlled, I want you to feel that nice stretch, contraction. You got it. Good. You got it. For five. Squeeze. Four. Three. Yes. Two. Last one. Amazing. Very good, everyone. Other side. Good. Let's go. Keep your attention here for 10, nine, take the time, squeeze, nine, eight, breathing, seven, really good, see then, six, don't yank through the back with the hamstring for five, four, yes, three, two, last one, last one, 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 Amazing. Oh, put it down. Good, we're gonna get back onto the ground. We're gonna go onto our side. We're gonna finish with some side plank work here. If you know, you know where we're going. Good, feet together, knees together. Right on that elbow, keeping that shoulder away from your ear. Good, you're going to keep that lower knee down. You're gonna extend that top leg up, good. What we're gonna do from here, you're gonna lift that hip forward and up. Good, so it's gonna come forward and up while you float this leg to parallel. Right back down, forward and up, back down. So your hip's coming forward, see that? Because you're squeezing that hip forward, squeezing that glute to come up. Good, let's go. For 10, it should suck. Nine, designed to be challenging. Nine, eight. Excellent if you're a runner, seven. Six, take your time, don't plop down for five, four, hold on, three, I know, two, one, good. You should feel that more on the lower side, this, the glute that's tapping on the ground, than the upper, good? It really is for this lower glute, so do it on the other side, ready? Let's go, for one. Two, take your time. 
Press that hip forward, glute activated. Hold on. For 10. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. For five. You got it. Four. Three. Two. Oh my goodness. One. Good. We're going to go to the other side. I know. I feel it too. The beauty about this exercise is that you can always meet it to where you need it, right? Meaning, if this is too hard, you do five. If you can do 10, great. If you can't do 15, you don't have to. Good, ready? Other side, let's go for 10. Make it count. Nine. Yes, we're only doing 10 a side now. Eight. Seven, lift that hip. I'm more concerned about this lower leg than the upper. Five, oh my God. Four, hold on. Three. Two, last one, one. Oh. Don't flip over yet, don't move. I know, I know, I saw you sitting here, flip, ready? So we're gonna hold the static position on that side, good? So bring yourself up here, leg straight. Tap it down for 10. Nine, more concerned about this side. Hold it up, breathe, six, Let neck neutral for five, four, three, Two, one. Oh my God. That should suck. Yes? Woo, mama. Other side. I find that my runners, my male runners, find this the most challenging. Meaning that that glute is not firing. It's a little weak. Let's go. For eight. Yes. Seven. Six. Oh my gosh. Five. Four. Press forward as well as up. Three, oh my God, two, one. Good, relax, oh my goodness. That should challenge you, my friends. That should kind of suck, in a good way. Ready? We're gonna hold it up, don't flip over yet. Hold it up, for 10. Slow and controlled, nine. We're not trying to do some like twerking move. Let's go, seven, six, controlled, five, Four, three, two, one. Oh, oh my. Now you can flip over. We're only gonna go five on the other side. Here's the contingency. You're gonna go five, you're gonna hold it up on the fifth one, we're doing five leg lifts. Then we're going to the other side and then we're stretching, ready? Let's go. So make it good. Ready, nice lifts for five. Four, take your time. Three, two, hold it up, hold it here for five. Toes pointing down, four, hold it. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Other side, last one, make it good, ready? Five, four, press forward all the way up. Three, slow it down. Two, hold it here, leg, five, oh my God, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh, knees to chest. Very, very good, everyone. Woo, mama. Good, you can keep yourself in a seated position. Feet shoulder width apart, we're leaning back on those arms. You're just gonna rotate side to side, getting some rolling on that hip, it should band across on that glute. You should feel that. Good, bend one leg in, scoot your back leg close to that heel. You should feel where we're just working, that nice stretch through that piriformis, that glute. Rock side to side on your breath. Amazing, other side. Good. Do it here. Walk side to side. Amazing. Scoot yourself back, straighten out those legs. Hinging forward, getting a nice stretch in the back of those legs. Get a nice stretch. Amazing. Cross one leg over. 
sorry, my heel is sliding on the ground. If it sounded like thunder, it wasn't. <laughs> Amazing, other side. And throughout the day, you can always do these nice stretches. Good, bring yourself into a lunge position. We're just gonna get into those hip flexors quickly. Good, pelvic tilt here. Leaning into it slightly, reach that arm up and reach it away. So you're gonna lean it to the opposite side. You should get rid of that nice hip flexor. Amazing, other side. Good, pelvic tilt. Breathe, arm up, lean. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Stand it up when you're ready. Deep breath in, leaning to one side. Deep breath in, leaning to the other. Amazing. Deep breath in the center. Breathing out, folding forward here. Hang out for a moment. And when you're ready, slowly round yourself up. Really great work today, everyone. Thank you for joining me.